attended the University of Florida, but something was always missing, and it was Jewish affiliation. There was nothing there and nowhere to go. I attended a Shabbat once that had about six people, and that was the first and last event I ever attended. Today's students at Gainesville are very lucky to have Chabad, which fosters Jewish identity, Jewish continuity, and keeps kids connected, which is the most important. When I got to UF, I wasn't really involved in anything other than just my friends and my sorority. And a really good friend of mine brought me to Chabad, and I had such a good experience. I felt welcomed, even though when I grew up, I didn't grow up in a Chabad or religious background. I went almost every single week, I went to all the activities, and I just loved it. When you go away to college, it's easy to get caught up in the partying and the studying and the fraternities and sororities and everything that's going on and it's very exciting and it's the first time for students out on their own. The Chabad Lubavitch Jewish Student and Community Center has a special place in order to help those students stay connected to Judaism and also to have a place where they can meet other Jewish students. Chabad everywhere depends a great deal upon the charisma of its leaders. And Gainesville is very fortunate having a Chabad rabbi and a wife who really are very charismatic and very much loved by students. At UF, what Khani and Beryl have done is incredible. It's, you know, in Proportionally, it's an amazing success as far as Chabad houses on campus go. The rabbi really has an amazing talent at connecting with each one of us individually and also making us all feel like a very big family. When Chani and I arrived to establish the center in Gainesville at the University of Florida in May 2000, did we know what's going to blossom from this commitment? No, we didn't. The greatest joy and pride I have is every day knowing that our entire family and the family of Shluchim in Gainesville are dedicated to serving and helping others, spiritually and physically, and of course the tremendous schus, merit, to be a shliach of the Rebbe. One of the basics of Hasidus is about joy, is joy in serving God. And I think when we're able to relay that to students about the joy in Judaism, it gives them a whole new perspective. Our hope is, and we've seen many of our students get married and have very nice Jewish families, that they'll actually be able to impart everything that we've tried to teach them to their families. They're on call 24 hours a day, they really are. We cannot believe that they do all that they do. They don't sleep. I wish I knew my students as well as he knows his students, and he has a lot more students than I do. There are thousands of Jewish students that come through this town and we try to provide them with a home, a Jewish home, ranges everything from chicken soup to, you know, a listening ear or just a place to come and hang out in a good Jewish atmosphere. We have the largest assemblage of Jewish students outside of the state of Israel and I feel it because we see their presence in the life of our university and we feel them as they celebrate their lives here on our campus. And it's wonderful. And it actually makes us a better campus. It's clear that most of the young people who are here are not traditional Jews. Yet, all the young women light candles, all saying Kiddush. It's nearly miraculous. We try to bring what we do to the campus, to the students, with tabling on campus, as well as classes on campus and so on. We give out Hanukkah candles, we give out Shabbat candles for girls, and even the kid that didn't grow up very Jewish at all, but he wants a mezuzah on his door, he can come to Chabad and they'll give him a mezuzah. The tefillin available for you right there on the table is definitely a great opportunity for me to take advantage of. They always say, like, Chabad UF is your home away from home, but seriously, it's my home away from home. It's really convenient because it's also really close to campus. I've met my best friends through Chabad. 
my roommate. We keep kosher and we keep Shabbat in our house, and I would have never had that if I didn't have such a great support system at Chabad U.S. They give us the ability to remain Jewish and to actively be a Jew in an environment where it is not easy to be a Jew. It's evident that on a Friday night when I was there, you'd have two, three hundred people that would show up. And there was a multitude of activities to do, yet they show up consistently every Friday night for a big Shabbat dinner. Every Shabbat, a home-cooked meal that these children get because they're not at home with their parents. And that is huge. We are there to give the student individually, as well as the family, a sense of security, knowing that there's a home away from home for them 24 hours a day, literally seven days a week. All four of our children have been educated in a Jewish day school. And it really does my heart good to know that after they graduated from high school, they had a place to go to continue their Jewish education and their affiliation with the Jewish people, which is really Chabad of Gainesville. They're not only bringing up the next leaders of the future, but they're also bringing in an aspect of, of family. It's your home away from home. It's awesome to be a student and have a place to go, and the Jewish community that's in Gainesville to have a place that they can go. I go there, I sort of feel part of it, and everyone is welcome. It doesn't matter where you came from or where you're going. He'll take you for the time that you have there. It is a gift to have a resource like that. For my students, a real partner in what we're trying to do at the University of Florida. This family, for their personal needs, is a no-frills family. And it's their work and it's being shlichot. And so anyone who gives any money to Chabad, they're giving it to the mission of the Chabad, which is acceptance of every Jew and that every Jew is family. They live that on a daily basis. I wish that they would get back what they give to everybody else. That'd be my blessing for them. For every ayanta, there's an accounting of how much money you spent. And we can't believe that they are that efficient. Chabad doesn't charge the students for any of the Rosh Hashanah, uh, Pesach, any of those. It's all, it's all free. But the money has to come from somewhere. And the people from the local community do a lot. But it's people from all over the state and other places that have really stepped up and make this possible. I can't thank the donors and the supporters enough for making this a possibility, for making it a reality. It is such a blessing. It really means the world to us. You know, the University of Florida, it offers us the ability to be part of something bigger than ourselves. And I can say the same thing about Chabad. And by being able to put the two of them together, it creates this Jewish Gator identity. And it's something that I'm very proud of. I know we're making a difference. I see it in our work every single day. We're making a difference in Jewish continuity for the Jewish people now and for the future. We will be there with the students to do the work and to grow our programs. We need your participation, your loving help to continue the vital work for serving Jewish life and learning at the University of Florida.